to my students of ELET 3120. Every word in the following uh, presentation is important and carries meaning, which is why I have written it out as well as spoken it. Please meditate on the statements made until you fully understand the implication of them. When you fully understand what is presented in the next few minutes, you are well on your way to success in electronics. Thanks for watching the Stephen Mendes channel where we educate and enlighten. The Barkhausen criterion is a mathematical condition to determine when a linear electronic circuit will oscillate. It is useful in the design of oscillators as well as the design of negative feedback circuits which are used to prevent oscillation in amplifier circuits of all types. As you can see from the diagram, we have an amplifier surrounded by a feedback network. This feedback network can either be positive or negative. Positive feedback will reinforce the signal and make it stronger. Negative feedback will reduce the signal amplitude and make it smaller, thus reducing the stage gain and ensuring that oscillation does not take place. The importance of the Barkhausen criterion to the design of electronic circuits is that the qualification that AB is equal to plus 1 is required for oscillation to occur. When AB equals plus 1, as you can see, the equation simplifies to stage gain of infinity as shown in this line. The significance of an infinite stage gain is that it implies that the circuit is able to produce an output with zero input. This is a necessary condition for continuous oscillation to occur. If oscillation is not desired as in amplifier circuits, we would use negative feedback to ensure that the criterion is not achieved. Stage gain is therefore restricted and amplification is reduced. But this improves linearity which is normally an important consideration in the design of amplifiers. Linearity is just the accuracy of the output signal to the input signal. Distortion in all forms compromise linearity because uh, information is present in the output signals which is not there in the input signals. And the de design of quality linear amplifiers therefore must consider the fact that you do not want the amplifier to introduce additional unwanted components. So in conclusion, we can see that the Barhausen criterion is fundamental in electronic circuit design to ensure either that oscillation does occur if we are building oscillation or that oscillation will not occur if we are building amplifiers. Thank you for watching this short video and we look forward, I look forward to personally bringing you more educational videos in the future. This has been a Stephen Mendes 
production.